Hi everyone, it's Vilo. Welcome back to my channel. For May, I have a nautical home decor theme. Recently, I've been to a little town on the Mediterranean coast of Spain and I saw beautiful nautical home decor shop windows and I took some photos to refer to for my theme. I love that the windows were packed with so many nautical elements to look at and it created such a welcoming marine atmosphere. So here I'm starting with the main focal point, which is uh, two sailing ships on a stack of books. And I'm progressively building my way up with different elements of varying sizes and shapes in the foreground and in the background. So the idea is to fill up the window so that your eyes are at first attracted to the sailing ships and then your sight can wander through the many details and you can enjoy every little element. At first, I have to say, I was overwhelmed by the quantity of things I would have to doodle. But I'm happy I did it because in the end, it wasn't that hard at all. And I have to say that the pictures helped a lot. I just had to simplify some things and change up some elements to my taste. Okay, while recording this, I just realized that I like to do home decor theme in the summer because I did, I think it was July 2021, I did a summer hat theme with a whole wall full of summer hats. And I also did in July 2022 another um, boho home decor theme. And if you've watched my studio makeover, you know that boho is more my style but i don't have anything nautical at home in fact i live near madrid in the center of spain so quite far from the sea but i've always loved to see this kind of marine home decor in magazines and when i saw those shop windows i absolutely fell in love though i'm not gonna change my style at home because I live so far from the sea, but it's really nice to look at. Lastly, I'm adding the window frame and on with the coloring. You know I never use blue in my themes. In fact, I think the only time was in November and it was very muted blue. So here I happen to have a dark blue and a light blue, but mm, those weren't really what I had in mind, but it was good enough. If you recreate this theme though, I would recommend a darker blue and for the light blue, a less vivid one, you'll see. Other than that, I used my more usual shades of browns and beige. So now comes the obvious question, what is your home decor style? Let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do it this summer. If you're decorating a shop window or like me just drawing one, you want it to look full but not busy. That's why you want to use contrasting colors like the blue and beige I'm using here. You could eventually add a third color, but I would stop here because more would probably be too much. And then you'll need different shades of those colors so that your eyes can easily distinguish between the different elements in the foreground and the background.
once I had colored everything, I realized that it's only a shop window and you don't really see that there's a shop behind. So I started adding more elements in the background so that you see that there's a whole shop inside. And that's where I probably should have stopped because I think it was fine with a white background so that everything would pop up in the foreground. But alas, I did color and now it kind of blends together. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Now I'm adding more details with my white gel pen to add some contrast and also interest to the illustration. Finally, I used my stamps for the header because May is such a short word that I never know how to do a nice lettering for this one. Then I'm adding washi tapes in the same colors. Changing up my mind as usual. Adding more details because why not? Wow, this is chaotic. And we're done. Here we have the cover page. Now, usually I do all my sketches on the same day, but for this one, I was very inspired for my cover page, but I did it on the first day and then I had absolutely no idea what I would do for the other spreads. This was my way to kind of force me to come up with something. So on the next day, I started to sketch the remaining spreads and I'm happy to say that I came up with so many ideas. I did independent weeklies, which I hadn't done in months. After setting up the structure for my calendar, I'm drawing a porthole this time. I don't really know if it's a shop with a fancy window or if we're just watching inside a boat. Mm, no, no, no. Now that I think about it, let's say it's a shop window because I tend to get sick on boats. How about you? Have you ever traveled on a boat and did you like it or do you get sick like me? I hope not. So here I'm building my illustration with the same kind of structure as I did in the cover and even repeating some of the elements like the stack of books but also adding new ones such as the coral or the net. I 
I'm adding bubbles, waves and a cloud to fill the page. Then I color everything with the same color combo. Here, same as in the cover, I think I should have stopped with the coloring right here, but hey, I realized in time for the weeklies. I'm adding again some details with my white gel pen. I'm adding marine blue lines to the calendar to give it a kind of sailor style. So now I'm writing the days of the month with my white gel pen so that they pop up because in black you wouldn't see anything. I have my social media trackers at the bottom, so if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Come on, you're already 13 minutes in this video, so you might as well subscribe. <laughs> If you don't know, I make videos about any kind of journaling, so bullet journal of course, but also my reading journal or my personal journal and sometimes I even do makeovers. So if you're interested in more content like that, hit the bell. I'm using my stencil for the header. I already used this one in February for my maps theme and it was also related to the sea somehow and I think it really fits the vibe here. Finally, I'm adding washi tapes and some stickers and here is the monthly calendar. I've been doing Dutch Draw Weeklies since October, so it's been quite a while, but I was itching to create different weeklies, not only for the creative aspect of it, but also because I have a visual memory mainly, I think, so my brain remembers better if I have different weeklies. So I'm stamping the days of the week and keeping a space for dateless events. And then pasting a mini calendar to have an overview of the month. Then I'm doodling another shop window on the right page. I'm using the same elements as in the cover, but this time I'm giving more protagonism to some elements that were like secondary objects on the cover. If you are afraid to draw animals, 
You can start with sea animals, they're probably the easiest animals to draw, so you can start right there. But fun fact, if you've noticed, all my seahorses are looking to the left because I can't draw seahorses looking to the right. Don't ask me why. Anyway, I managed to not overdo the coloring on this illustration, so I'm much happier with the result. I'm coloring a frame for each daily to balance the spread. I'm adding a grid with a very light beige to make it more interesting and make the spread look less empty. Finally, I'm adding washi tapes and stickers, but you could also write a quote. I'm using stamps for the days of the week, and that's it. We have our first weekly. The remaining weeklies are easier and more minimalist. For the second weekly, I'm using a different layout, keeping space at the right and the left for a collage. This time I'm handwriting the days to balance the fact that there will be no illustration. I think that makes the spread look more dynamic and fun. Just like in the first weekly, I have my weekly to-do list and a mini calendar. For the collage, I'm using this new washi tape I bought with blue tones and also kind of a pink beige with Ghibli movie vibes and I love it. My weeklies are usually very structured and this time I wanted to try something different with a layout where the dailies would be kind of scattered around the page if that makes sense or at least less aligned. This time I'm coloring inside the frame where I'm going to stem the days. On the top left corner of the page, I'm adding a quick collage with some of the few stickers I had in blue or around the nautical theme.
My intention was to fill the page with stickers, but I realized I didn't have much more and still a week left to do, so instead I started drawing hanging strings and I really liked the result. For the fourth and last weekly, I went with a horizontal layout. I'm coloring the dailies like I did in the last weekly and stamping the days vertically. Then I'm adding a mini calendar to have an overview of the month of June. I'm doing a last collage on the left page with the remaining stickers I had on this theme. Finally, I'm doodling a jellyfish because this team was missing a jellyfish and it's also very convenient to fill in a vertical space. And now let's flip through the pages of this nautical home decor shop window theme. I definitely shouldn't be allowed to give theme names. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to tag me if you recreate some page. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Until then, enjoy planning!